Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this clutch. I've used this ribbed stitch and added this button and use cotton yarn. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you the pattern to make this body for this clutch. So I've already made this one. So I'm going to show you how to make another one in small size but you would be able to do this big one as well so you can see I've already put the button in I did the body and then I'm gonna join so it's easier and this is going to be like this so I'm gonna start from here and then go all the way to the top so let's get started For this project you need to start with a magic ring so I'm gonna do a magic ring like this and secure it with a chain one and this chain one doesn't count as a stitch and this is the ring what I'm gonna do is pull and close the ring a little bit so make it smaller and then take this end insert it into the ring and pull creating this knot and continue working now for the first round I'm gonna do five single crochet into the ring so one two three four and five so I got my five single crochet and I'm gonna close a little bit the ring so you can see and now I'm going to continue for the second round chain one working in the back loop of the stitches so there's two loops one and two I'm just going to work into this one the back one so you need to turn the work like this and work into the back loop I'm going to do single crochet and then again single crochet into the same so I've got now two single crochet into the first one going into the next one I'm going to do again two single crochet one and two into the third one I'm going to do single crochet chain one and then single crochet into the same and last two stitches I'm gonna continue doing two in each so going into the next one two and into the last one two again one and two so I've got now this shape here you can see like a triangle and from the third round on it will be a repeat so the third round you need to follow it carefully and after that it's easy so moving into the third round chain one and always working in the back loop of the stitches I'm going into the first one the very first one would be two single crochet into the same so I'm doing one and then again into the same I'm doing two so two single crochet into the first one and then and next four I'm gonna do one in each until I've got the chain so you remember we did a chain and that's where you need to stop so single crochet one two three and four and I've got this annoying knot over here that's unexpected totally and here you go so I did my four single crochet and I'm into the chain so using the back loop of the chain you need to do a single crochet chain one 
and then single crochet the same and continue now doing into the next four I'm going to do one in each so one two three and four and into the last one again I'm going to do two single crochet so the pattern would be the last and the first one would be two in each so two single crochet and then each the rest of it you need to do one single crochet in each when you come to the chain is where you do one single crochet chain and a single crochet so I'm going to do another two rounds with you to get it clear so chain one and then working into the back loop like this I'm going to single crochet two one and two and then I'm going to continue doing my single crochet in each until I'm into the chain so if you lose your chain what you can do is put a stitch marker onto the chain on top of the chain so you remember where you have to do it and then you can now single crochet one two three four five and six and now I'm on top of this chain where I'm gonna do one single crochet chain one and a single crochet and then I'm gonna continue again doing one in each until the last one one two two three four five and six and the last one two into the last one so one and two so that's it you can see now more of it so you just need to continue like this until you got the width you want so example if you want to make it like five centimeter continue until this side is five centimeter like this or you want a bigger 10 20 whatever you just need to continue doing like this two in the first and the last and then into this middle one into the top chain you need to do one single crochet chain one and a single crochet so that's what I'm gonna do now chain one working into the back loop two single crochet and then one in each one two three four five six seven and eight and to the chain I'm doing a single crochet and a chain and a single crochet and then continue doing the single crochet in each 32 three four five six seven eight and into the last one I'm doing two one and two so that's it so we just continue like this and I'll be back when I've got the width I need I've just finished another round and I'm not gonna make it any bigger and after this I want to change the yarn so you can continue without switching but I'm gonna change so here you go and you can do you can tie the two ends to secure it so like this when you're tying keep your hook into the yarn here and now continue the work you, can, you have to chain one and turn the work and now I'm going to show you what you're going to do so the first stitch you need to skip and you need to go into the second one 
so I'm skipping the first one going into the second one and do a single crochet so like this and you need to do in each of the stitches a single crochet so I did one into the first and now I'm going into the second one and continue the single crochet in each like this so the whole project would be working into the back loop So keep working single crochet until you are into in the chain so now I have to work into the chain so insert your hook into the back loop of the chain single crochet chain one and again single crochet so this is going to be like this for the whole project single crochet chain one and a single crochet and now I'm going to continue single crochet into so I'm finishing this uh, single crochet so you can see here So this is my last one which I'm not going to work in so this is the repeat pattern each in each round you're going to skip this first one and the last one so you're not going to work into this last one and now I'm going to chain one and turn the work and again I'm going to skip the first stitch and going into the second one using the back loop and single crochet and I'm going to do single crochet in each like this And into the chain I'm gonna always do a single crochet chain one and single crochet and then single crochet each of the stitches until the last one which I'm gonna skip so last one you have to skip every time so So you see I'm um, left with two stitches so I'm gonna work into this one and leave the last one and now for the next round chain one turn the work and similarly so you need to skip the first one going into the second and single crochet in each and again into the chain I'm going to do single crochet chain one and single crochet and then continue doing my single crochet in each so this is the repeat pattern Oops. so I've worked in each and I've left the the last one and now for for all the rounds left how big you want you just continue this pattern and if you want to switch your yarn you just join as I did with the first round so you join the yarn and similarly skip the first one and work into the 
rest of it so I'm gonna now show you the last two rounds because this is just repeat so I'll be back when I'm done with the rounds so I've I'm back with the length I want and this is going to be like this a little bit more so now I have to finish off uh, two more rounds for my buttonhole so you can avoid the buttonhole if you don't want and you want to use snaps then you just do two more rounds of a single crochet and if you want to have the buttonhole then just follow me for these two rounds so this is just the usual two rounds so I'll chain one skip the first stitch going into the second one and single crochet single crochet until before the last stitch so So if you can see this is my chain one this is the stitch before the chain one and this is the chain uh, stitch after the chain one and I'm gonna skip these three so the chain uh, the last stitch before the chain and the first stitch before the chain and I'm gonna do chain three one two and three and I'm gonna skip these three and going into the fourth one and single crochet the fourth one so you can see I've got this hole now and continue this round with single crochet so I'm gonna finish off this round now and I'll be back for the next round so I finished the round and chain one this is the last round skip the first stitch going into the second one and single crochet so you have to single crochet until you are into this chain three space Oops. so I'm in the chain three space where I'm gonna make five single crochet into this loop so I'm going in and doing one two three four and five and then I'm gonna continue doing my single crochet in each And finish off the round and to finish off chain one and fasten off so so the body is done now you need to weave the ends so all of these ends need to be weaved and uh, when you join it, the sides, you need to align the parts properly. You can do like this. And then, so this is going to the parts. If you want to keep it small, then join it like this. Or if you want to make it bigger, just go a little bit down like this. And that's it you'll have a bigger flap so it's up to you how you want to join it and after weaving all the ends into I'm gonna show you how to join but I'm not going to show you this one I'm gonna show you in the main one this one how I'm gonna join this so take a piece of yarn like this and this needle and I've tied the ends you can see 
and I've already joined this side so you can see I've used this <clears throat> pink yarn and if you're wondering if it's visible onto this uh, color dark one it's actually not so I will show you how I've joined so going into this side align your parts properly so you can see this is and I'm gonna start from the top here and inserting into the very top stitch here and go in both sides and leave this in and now So it's just like sewing in with this yarn so you continue like this wherever you feel you should join just go in so you can see And just continue all the way like this So before finishing off this side, uh, I need to secure the ends where I begin. So I'm, I'm going to go into the stitch again and pull tight going and so now you can see it's tight. And I can continue now here till the end so I finished joining and weaved all the ends inside and the clutch is done so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks Yay. bye